Hello, my lovely Aries. I know I am super duper late this month, but your girl has had a lot of ish going on. So <clears throat> I'll be following these readings up for the month of November with, not November, see what I'm talking about, um, for the month of December with some mid months, okay? So let's go ahead and get this started for you guys for the month of December. What is the energy for Aries for the month of December? Now keep in mind, whenever you guys view this reading, it's just when you're meant to view it, okay? Aries, let's see. And this is a Celtic cross, of course. The monthlies and the mid-monthlies are coming in the form of a Celtic cross. What is the energy around my Aries? What's the energy around Aries? The justice. Hmm. Libra energy. This is your opposite sign. So I'm feeling like there's something that um, you guys are doing that you wouldn't normally do. I feel a lot of you are stepping outside of your comfort zone to try to try to achieve what it is that that you want and you feel like you deserve in your life. Um, I do get that there's there's uh, some situation that you're interested in and it may not be your typical situation that you would go for, but I think you feel like this is something that you probably should do. Okay. What's crossing? Aries. Five of Swords. Hmm. I think you struggle with um, continuing to do this though. Because there's something that tells you, you know, to run away at, at certain moments, but then you're pulled back to like, wait a minute, maybe I need to like give this a give this a shot, give this a chance, okay? Um, Aquarius energy is here. As well, so this is a lot of thinking going on, a lot of like you know trying to do the right thing and, and trying not to, trying not to uh, want up somebody or really kind of you know let a situation go before it's it's ready to be let go or let it go if it shouldn't be let go or something like that. It's like not jumping the gun is what I'm getting here. Okay. What is the underlying issue here for Aries? The Three of Swords, you guys have been hurt before, is the thing. And I feel like you are really trying to guard your heart. You're really not trying to like allow things that happened before to happen again. You don't want to let those issues, you know, come into play. So I think a lot of you guys are, are like being hyper vigilant. And as soon as you see something that reminds you of some tomfoolery that you dealt with before in the past, you're like, oh, no, out, deuces. And then you kind of think about, well, wait a minute, this is not that situation. You know, maybe it's not that that the way that I feel like it is. OK, again, um, that's Libra energy there with the three of swords. In the recent past, what was going on for my Aries? The Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you guys have not been at your happiest. You have not really been content. And I feel like there's there's a situation that is currently going on that has the potential to bring you a lot of happiness, but you still are holding on to some heartache. There's, there's, there's something that has happened to you before that still has like these residual effects on you guys here, okay? This is uh, Piscean energy. So there's a level of discontentment um, that has been going on with you guys, okay? I think now you're ready to move forward. There's, there's an opportunity to date someone here, I do feel. There's definitely an opportunity to date someone. Um, a lot of you question whether this is the right move to make, but I think you know, you're really trying to keep your head on straight and you're really not trying to move too fast um, emotionally, but I think some of you are finding yourselves falling for someone here with that uh, watery energy there, the Knight of Cups. What are Aries crowning thoughts? Aries, ooh, okay, all right. So why are these cards? coming in reverse you're look, look at this the eight of wands in reverse and the tower you're crowning thoughts 
are like, you know, you really are trying to keep yourselves from being hurt again. Um, it, it, it's like you have this, this, um, this hypervigilance. Okay, because a tower is all about instability. And the Eight of Wands in reverse is, the Eight of Wands in particular is about being able to move forward, move on, being able to like, you know, communicate effectively. So I think there's something with communication here that you feel like is going to, is going to like, um, the lack of communication or or the different ways of communication is, is is going to disrupt what is actually going on with you and someone else and cause a breakup. Okay, let's see what this is. Okay, come on here. And the hanging man in reverse. Huh. Again, Piscean energy, Sagittarius energy. Uh, we have Scorpio energy here. I feel like this person is quite possibly somebody that and you guys are not going to want to hear this but i'm just feeling like this this is somebody that you were meant to cross paths with um this is somebody who you could have a future with that is is coming your way to bring you some sort of change if you guys have been stagnant then this is your opportunity to move forward okay if you guys have been moving too fast and like jumping the gun and doing things without actually thinking about it. This is your chance to like really kind of slow down and like take heed to your surroundings or what have you. Okay. So whatever that change is for you. Because you know you guys like everything that's up will eventually come down a little bit. And everything that's down will come up. Okay. There's nothing constant in this life but change. So whatever the situation is for you, there's, there's something that's trying to shift for you guys. Okay. And I feel like, um, this is all about being able to move forward and move on and open up your heart. Is what I'm getting here. Okay. Let's see. What's coming in for Aries? What's coming in for Aries? Two of Wands, you're going to have to decide what it is that you really want. That's your card there. What do you want? Okay, do you want this? Is this something that you feel like, you know, is going to aid in your happiness? It's your choice. <clears throat> My gosh. Okay. You guys have a lot to say. Then we have the Ace of Cups that came out in reverse. Hmm. I, I really feel like you guys are, you haven't quite healed or you feel like you haven't quite healed. But I think this is all in your head, honestly. Because I think you're healed. I think that you are, um, you're just a little leery because of what you've experienced before. And you're not that eager to give, to open up your heart and wear your heart on your sleeve and give this person a chance. Okay? But don't short yourself. You know, just use your discernment, but don't short yourself because I do feel like you guys are ready. Um, and I think that you'll notice or you'll know if this person does not mean you well. You'll know. Okay? <clears throat> How is Aries viewing themselves in this situation? The star. Mm. I think you have hope. I think you, you may feel like this is the one. I do think that you're a little apprehensive um, just because of your past experiences, your past hurt. But um, yeah, you guys are healed. You're healed, okay? Keeping hope alive. Um, feeling like maybe this is your soulmate. This is the one. Excuse me, I got the hiccups a little bit. So if you were wondering, for those of you who were wondering coming into this reading, is this person somebody that you could spend your life with? My answer is yes. For those of you who there are no signs that this person 
is coming to you with some tomfoolery, the answer is yes. If you know that this person is not the one, and you'll know this person is not the one and not just you being, you know, sensitive to to certain things because of, you know, what you've experienced before. You know that this person has the potential to be your destiny. Okay? And I'm saying the answer is yes. Because I'm feeling some of you like questioning that. But something in your spirit, something in your, your energy is telling you like this person could definitely be the one that you could spend the rest of your life with. Okay? We have the Emperor here. We have the Page of Wands. Yeah. I feel like this is also... If you haven't been showing the interest, I think this is for you to show that you are interested. And don't get off of it. Don't one day, you know, show interest and the next day act like you could give a shit. Okay? This is to be consistent. Be consistent with your actions. Okay? What is the influence here for Aries? The Knight of Wands. Sagittarius energy. Hmm. You know, a lot of you guys are, you go back and forth. You're kind of on the fence. I need for you to get off that fence, okay? Get off that fence and decide what it is that you want to do. Um, because I don't feel like, you know, this situation is one that is not good for you. I don't feel like that. I feel like this is something that could definitely be um, had the potential for longevity um, and, and happiness for you guys, okay? But you're going to have to decide what it is that you want to do and, and stick to it and not be flighty. Okay? Because I think before, there's been like, you know, certain situations that you've been in that... Um, you know, you be in it and then you dip out of it because there's something about the people that you think, you know, they're they're not the one and you just you out of it just that quick. And I think that's what you're thinking now, but um there's something that draws you back to this person, okay? Hopes or fears for Aries. Two of Swords that you will not know what to do. Libra energy. You will not know what to do. You will not, um, you know, see things for what they really are. Um, you just will not be able to decide your fear. What is the overall outcome for Aries? Page of Pentacles. I think you're making a small offer, a small token, giving, giving yourselves to this situation, but in small doses. So I think, and this is a, um, this is earth energy here with this um, pinnacle. You know, it's like not jumping into things with both feet, but just lending yourself to the situation for, to see exactly where it's going to go. And I do see that in you. And it may be because of this reading. If so, thumbs up guys, because I do see that this, this situation has the potential to bring you the healing, the happiness, um, that you guys have been looking for. Okay. Not necessarily looking for, but, um, you know, just wanting, just needing in your life. Everybody wants to be happy. Everybody wants to be secure. And um, and that's just what it is. Alright guys. So this is Aquarius energy. So Libra Aquarius. Um, I feel Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy is here. Sagittarius is definitely here. Um, yeah. So that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.